We're moving and grooving for the good times on a Monday. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Maddie Conklin and Ingrid Fair. You know her. You know her. You love her. She is like the co-host feeling extraordinaire. Girlfriend, how are you? I am great. How are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to be joined by you today. I am too. And for those wondering, Jeremy is on vacation, as as is uh, producer Jake. They have nice long vacations, well nice. deserved, much needed. So wishing you guys the best vacation and time off while we're here doing the show. That's right. Yeah. So Ingrid, I wanted to tell you and our viewers that on Friday, uh, Jeremy and I um, attended the Discovery Center of Springfield's Festival of Trees. Um, Jeremy actually emceed it. I have a few pictures that I wanted to show from uh, Friday night's gala. Do we? Oh, okay, they're coming. But anyways, it was so awesome. It was my first time going to the Festival of Trees gala. And if you haven't been, each tree that they auction off is a different theme. And each tree comes with a different like gift set. So there was like a chief's tree with chief's tickets and you know, like oh, food okay. vouchers. Then there was one that was pink and beautiful and it had like a spa certificate and all these different things. So, so many trees to choose from. And I haven't been to an auction in so long, but wow. They started low and got super high. They raised a ton of money. And I think it was, Jeremy told me they raised $110,000. Oh my goodness. Throughout all fun. the trees. That's yeah, it was so cool. Do we have the pictures yet, Director Dan? Not yet, okay. So did the pink one come home with you? Girl, I wish I had the money. <laughs> I thought I thought about, you know, putting on my paddle, but I was like, starting bid a thousand, I was like, put okay. it down. I got gifts to buy for the nephews and the family. Don't blink, don't, yeah. don't make a noise. So, okay, so yeah, there's Jeremy, Jackie, and myself. Nice. And so you can see some of the trees behind. That's pretty. But um, it's super fun. And then I think there's one of just me and Jeremy in front of, uh, yep, yeah, that was the chief's tree behind us. So, of course, Jeremy in his amazing suit. But uh, speaking of trees, I yes. wanted to get to your genius idea of a Christmas tree. Yes. Now, I think a lot of the viewers have probably seen the craft contract version a few and years back a few back a few hundred years ago five years ago <laughs> a few hundred five years ago just a little while ago and so now we're in this new house it's a little bigger and so we made a giant version of the tree and the uh -huh. old tree was eight foot tall I mean it wasn't little yeah but the new one if you have a picture so that's there, the old one that's the old one and that one you are selling that one actually sold already. Sold so already, gone. okay. But basically, it's made of wood planks in the shape of a tree. Right, and this one was all big rope that, that ornaments hung on the rope. Yes. And it had a thousand ornaments, and now this is the new one. Okay. And it's going to be nine and a half feet, feet tall. Feet tall, oh my gosh. But, but there's gonna be this ginormous angel on the top, and I'm gonna come on the show next month, and we're gonna make the angel. I will let you and Jeremy do that because I, you know I'm not crafty and I might mess up the we're, angel. We're gonna make you a little pink Barbie angel. <laughs> okay, yay! So we'll-, we'll I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about it. Little pink Barbie angel. So, Why don't my parents call me that? <laughs> Think about it. I'm coming home soon. That's my nickname for her. There we go. That's amazing. Um, speaking of trees, have you, Jesse, and Angela put up trees? I still have to buy one. No, see, I always like to wait till after Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah, I always put it, I usually actually even wait till December 1st. Okay, right now. I've I wanna, been feeling guilt yeah. by not decorating because I see houses right. on my street already oh, and I'm yeah. like, oh gosh, I'm stressed out. Yeah, I feel like people down here like definitely are all about Christmas being early and it's hard not to when you see Bass Pro all decked yeah. out. Oh my gosh. It's just hard not to give in. Right. You know? I have not put up my tree yet, but we did go and buy one. You did, okay. Uh, yesterday Progress. from Home Depot. Right. So, okay, I was gonna say real uh, or fake? Uh, yeah, artificial. <laughs> artificial. <laughs> we got the artificial. Yeah. And now yeah. there's a squabble of sorts going on um, to figure out how we're going to decorate it. Because um. I don't like the trendy, like cutesy we like I like a traditional like I want oh, my tree cool. to look like the home alone Christmas tree. Yes. <laughs> like, I want it to be classic. Like I want it to not look like you just printed it off of Pinterest. Like, <laughs> right. It's not the tree. It's like yeah. a theme with colors yeah. and, and like, mm -hmm. silver and pink and yes. like, all of these trendy <laughs> things. I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. Okay, no shame I, though. I think I am gonna give in to the trend and for my own personal at home at my little place, I'm gonna do a Barbie tree. I, I really want fair. to. I really want to do a Barbie. But at home with like family though, we're gonna do the OG if, traditional. If we did tree. have a themed tree, I think we all I just also want like one that like it it just looks 
Almost looks horrible, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> Where it's just tons of Nothing ornaments, matches. everything. Charlie just Brown Christmas. Yeah, yeah. with like the Like the 90s, the, like we did yeah. when we were kids. Oh yeah. my gosh, yes. Like I want all like the crazy lights. Ornament that I made and like, like you know. Like, <laughs> it's rude off with your hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it just looks terrible. I need my Christmas tree to look bad. Yes. Yes. Okay. I love it. That's, so that's great. There you yeah. go. That's Striving for it. big stuff. Yes, of course. That's, that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. A couple stories for you here. Hard to believe. We've got Thanksgiving first, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, I know. before we get to Christmas, which is... Rewinding. You know, uh, the older I, I get, the more willing I am to fast forward to Christmas, but I digress there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a survey asked about 2,000 people for their holiday plans. 54% of them say, in addition to a regular mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, they'll also be attending a Friendsgiving mm -hmm. a concept that folks have... Uh, it's kind of become more popular over uh, the last few years that I've kind of recognized anyway. That trend started picking up according to uh, the survey in 2019 when seven in 10 young Americans said they would prefer the holiday with friends. It also found the biggest dread of traditional Thanksgiving dinner were all the personal questions <laughs> at the dinner table. Younger Americans say they can be more honest and open about friends or around friends rather and they don't have to worry about offending a relative. So <laughs> just uh, worry about offending your friends. That's yeah. That's how yeah. Look at it. yeah. That's it's easier to ask for forgiveness from them. Mm -hmm. than I family, think so too. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I feel they hold those grudges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember Do you that. remember in 1992 <laughs> when you were just a baby and you threw mashed potatoes on yes, my face? Right? No, I don't. Because oh, I was down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But I do love a good friendsgiving. Yeah, I, I think it's too. fun yeah. just to get everyone together. You and play games. It's more yes. of a potluck than anything. I agree. Again, not the traditional. Like bring in your own size. All yeah. the stuff. Yeah. All Walk the into the kitchen. Mom favorite. is just hair on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Get yeah. out. Just yeah. getting all of us out. Yeah. I'm like sneaking in with a spoon. Like, like, sorry, I just Mom. Like, Get out of there. Pow. Yeah. Oh, so funny. Mm -hmm. Well, check this out, guys. So there are other ways, you know, to take care of yourself, like staying in shape, which is going to be hard to do this week. Yeah, you know, yep. maybe yep. maybe we'll wait till next week. For that reason, week. I'm out. Right, yeah. right. Well, this one we all knew was coming. Wolverine is coming back, which means Hugh Jackman had to get back into Wolverine uh -huh. shape. Maybe he's missing Hugh. out on those mashed potatoes this week. So Jackman posted this video to his ex account with the hashtag becoming Wolverine again. The 55 year old Jackman has played the X Men superhero off and on over the past 20 years. He'll be featured in Deadpool 3, which comes out on May 3rd. Oh, I love the bromance between him and Ryan Reynolds. It's funny. It's, it's so great. great. Cause they obviously they're yes. best friends, but they go at each other like they hate each other. Yeah. But then at the end of the day, they're like, just kidding. We're best yeah. friends. Videos of yeah, yeah. deadlifts. Huge jacked man. <laughs> Huge jacked man. <laughs> that was the joke we yeah. said earlier. We were like, yeah, yeah. my favorite. It tracks. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah. At what point do you just work out so much that you're so swole that like, you just stop. Is there a point? Like he he looks good know. to me, but obviously he thinks he needs to work out more to be Wolverine. I'm like, you're good. I would uh, love to get to that point, but uh, I really I really enjoy. Know. I got you. I got you. I was say I just love food too much. I love food know? way too much. Uh, I don't think it's a secret that those folks preparing for those roles have a little extra help. If yes. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> right. um, uh, chemically. Oh, oh. <laughs> actually, yeah. a little bit there. Nutritionist, yeah. chefs, right? Yeah. Uh, Chemically, <laughs> all, all those things. All, oh, yes. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Craziness. Oh man. Well, I don't really know a transition. Is there any? I do. I do. I know one. Speaking of huge jacked men, <laughs> let's go to Tom with the weather. <laughs> there you go. The Tom yeah, Schmidt. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> hey, look at him. He's cowering. <laughs> oh. Blow yourself up. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Hey, Tom. Hey, good morning. How's good it going? Luck. <laughs> good luck. Good luck for you. <laughs> the, next, the next two minutes. <laughs> All right.